positive spin on this wind, saying hopefully it'll blow away the juniper and cedar pollen that's kicking up so many people's hay fever and allergies. That is true, but the wind is also going to bring in some colder temperatures, so if you're hoping to have some more weather that we have been seeing with temperatures in the 60s and the 70s, it's been rather nice. Well, it's going to be much colder today and also for your Sunday right now. Temperatures starting out in the 40s, it's 44 degrees, and our winds are out of the west at 7 miles per hour. But those winds will be picking up later on this afternoon. They'll be sustained at 25 to 45 miles per hour with gusts up to 55 miles per hour. Right now, the satellite and radar showing clear skies. All the snow and the rain is staying off to our north and to our east. Now, the reason that we're going to see all the winds today is because we have another low pressure system just tracking off to our north, and you can see where it is just to our north in Colorado, producing some snow and also some rain in Texas and thunderstorms. But we're just going to see some sunshine mixed in with the clouds, windy conditions, and also dropping temperatures. So here's the wind forecast beginning at lunchtime today. You, where you're seeing the yellows, that's indicating the areas of stronger winds. Well, they'll be sustained from 25 to 45 miles per hour. But then as we head into the later afternoon and evening hours, where you're seeing all the yellow. All of us will be seeing the strong winds. So that's why much of the state is under a high wind warning or a wind advisory for today. Then as we head into the overnight hours, you can see the winds relax. And then tomorrow they kick up once again, but they're not going to be as strong on your Sunday as they are today. So very windy on your Saturday as that low pressure system tracks to our north through Colorado, producing some snow in southern Colorado and also the portions of the northeastern New Mexico could pick up a little bit of snow later on tonight. But not only is this low pressure system going to kick up our winds, but it's also going to usher in some colder air from the north. So temperatures tonight in the metro will be dropping below freezing into the 20s. So it's going to be a very cold start to your Sunday and we'll see the snow staying off to our north as we end the weekend. So taking a look at the forecast, the extended forecast for southern Colorado temperatures today only climbing into the middle and upper 30s with the spot showers. Winds out of the northwest from 20 to 30 miles per hour and gusts up to 40 miles per hour. The 50s do return, but you're going to have to wait till Tuesday or Wednesday. In the northwest today, temperatures climbing into the upper 30s and lower 40s. Cold and windy today. Winds out of the northwest at 25 to 35 miles per hour. Then in the southwest today, temperatures climbing into the 60s and the 70s. A mix of sun and clouds for both today and also for tomorrow. We'll be in the upper 50s for your Sunday and stay in the 50s on Monday. The 60s return on Tuesday, then the 70s by Wednesday. In the southeast, temperatures today climbing into the 60s and 70s to near 80 degrees in Carlsbad. A mix of sun and clouds. Then tomorrow, much cooler temperatures in the 50s. Very windy today. Winds out of the west at 30 to 40 miles per hour. In the northeast, we could see some snow showers. Temperatures today climbing into the 40s and 50s. We dry out tomorrow, but it's going to be a chilly start. Temperatures starting out in the single digits in Las Vegas for your Sunday. Northern mountains temperatures in the 40s and 30s today. Snow showers, winds out of the northwest from 35 to 45 miles per hour and gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Similar wind gusts up in the eastern mountains today. Temperatures climbing into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees and then in the metro will climb into the 50s instead of the 60s to what we saw on your Friday. Winds out of the west at 30 to 40 miles per hour and gusts up to 60 miles per hour. And here is the extended forecast, a mix of sun and clouds on your Sunday. The 60s do return, but again, we're going to have to wait until the middle and end of the week for some more seasonal temperatures. So last week we were talking about above normal temperatures, this week below normal temperatures. So still in that seesaw pattern right now.